Victor Wenbinyama is a San Antonio Spur, and I know not all the picks are right. Just ignore that. I'm trying to get this video out to y'all quick. So today, we're going to be simulating Victor's career as a San Antonio Spur and seeing just how good he can do. And immediately, the Spurs got into motion, picking up James Harden to give Victor Wembanyama some help. And in Season 1, Harden wasn't enough. We only went 31-41, and 41, but on the bright side, Victor Wembanyama was the Rookie of the Year. For season number two, James Harden continues to get worse and we don't really make any notable additions. I also saw Vic wasn't progressing too much, so I made sure his potential was as high as possible because let's be honest, from everything we've heard about this guy, he's about to go crazy. And year two, he's all NBA third team, no all defense just yet, but he is on a six-seeded team. The Spurs took a huge step up this year and him and Harden are proving to be a good duo. We've got the Denver Nuggets round one. They take game one, and they are an experienced veteran team, but in his first playoff game, Vic with 19, 10, and 6. So ultimately, though, we get down 3-1 in the series, and that was too much to overcome. Our season is over. Victor's still not progressing too crazy, so I made sure that he had all the best potential so that we could see him become an absolute monster in the league. So now he should be crazy. But this season, we were 48 and 34. Vic continues to put up similar numbers, but I think next season will be the year he takes a jump. Ultimately, we lose in six to Golden State. We haven't been able to make it past the first round just yet, but Wembenyama's still young. The only thing worrying me is the albatross of James Harden's contract, bro. This stuff is ridiculous, man. But Victor Wembenyama continues to give this team hope as he is an all-star starter this season. That's huge. And he's putting up some much improved numbers. Hopefully, he can lead the Spurs to an NBA championship. But right now, we were 27-26 at the All-Star break. He's an All-NBA guy, but I think paying hard in all that bread when he's such a low overall is really tough for our team and putting us in kind of a rough spot. He's not he's only an 80 overall for us now and like uh, like, bro, we're paying him like 56 million, I think, something like that, and we lose him five to the Thunder. But it'd be nice if we could use that money to put another star next to Victor Wembanyama, because it's clear he's emerging as one of the best players in the league at this point, and we gave James Harden an extension. Are you serious? Two more years of James Harden, man. I, I, I don't know what the Spurs are doing. That's not a very Spurs thing to do either, but anyway, Wembanyama's MVP, man. He is absolutely cooking. He he is 20 feet deep in his bag, hitting cross, cross, tween, tween, hezzies and stuff. He's going absolutely crazy. Round one, we got the seven-seeded Suns, and we beat them in six. Finally, we have made it past the first round, and Victor Wembanyama is doing everything he can to lead this team to victory. The, the million, trillion, zillion dollar man, James Harden, he's not even starting for our team anymore, and we're facing the Timberwolves. Their roster looks really nice. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like I see why they beat us. They're a really good basketball basketball team. Ant-Man is a 99 overall. That's wild, bro. And also, if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing. Here's the roster for the upcoming season. Now we're paying Zachary a lot of money. I guess Harden retired, but Zachary was ready to take up all that bread. And this season, we ended up winning almost 50 games, so a really solid effort from the team. Ultimately, now, the next step is really just the playoff success. Vic's doing well individually. The team's doing well in the regular season, but now we just got to take that next step and become a playoff force. Round one, we've got the Oklahoma City Thunder, and we're getting absolutely cooked. Down 2-0 early, but ultimately, we bounce back and take the next two. Unfortunately, the Thunder take the two after that and we lose in six. Another great playoff effort from Victor Wembanyama, but our season is over and Devin Booker is the finals MVP as the Suns win the ring. Victor is now a 99 overall and the supporting cast around him is okay. He doesn't really have a true co-star with him, but he continues to try and be the leader of this team. I wish he had a better second option that he could go to though. Second seed, 52-30. and 30. We've seen good regular seasons from this team. It doesn't really move me. I'm just trying to see a good playoff run from the team, and we lose to the seventh seed of Mavs. Let's keep it pushing. 
another year where we don't really have that second option that I'd like to have for Wemby, and another year where we do well in the regular season. Ron Madsen, an auto-generated rookie, is now a 98 overall MVP for the Suns. He's absolutely cooking. And we've seen Vic on All-NBA first team year after year. This year, he's also All-Defensive second. We've got the Utah Jazz in the first round. They're a pretty good team, but hopefully we're more gooder as we try to beat them in the first round. Ultimately, we lose in five. Very unfortunate. But can I say I'm surprised? No. We've just been getting cooked. Ben? Ben Simmons? Are you kidding me? He's the finals MVP? And Victor Wembenyama is a free agent. He wants to go to the Portland Trailblazers. And remember, we wanted to simulate to see how he does with the Spurs. But now, he's in Portland with Nikola Jokic. So, we'll simulate a year to see how he does there. But... I just wanted to see what he did in San Antonio because that's where he got dra- or well, and that's where he's probably going to get drafted to because you know they got the number one pick and everybody pretty much knows Wemby's going to go first. And the Portland Trailblazers are in the play, and this has been such a disappointment of a simulation. Did we even make a conference finals appearance, bro? We got the Suns round one here in Portland, and ultimately we get up early but end up losing. We lose in Game Seven. Bro, what a disappointment, man. I was hoping Wembenyama could do more in San Antonio. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Regardless, though, have a great day. See you on the next one. Peace.